let's see how this works itself out. Understand what you've been doing and how this relates, but is different from it. The past two weeks, you have been practicing on this stuff about where the order was given to you in milligrams per kilogram per day. You have some number, it varies from medication to medication, milligrams per kilogram per day, you multiply by the patient's weight in kilograms, in this case, and find out what to give. This is very different. The order, in this case, is just a number. The licensed prescriber has ordered 100 milligrams of whatever medicine this is. But again, something deep inside you goes, wait a minute, something looks weird here. I better check this guy out. That doctor's out of an income poop, and I don't trust him anyway. So there's some source where you can find out what a safe dosage is. The manufacturer of these medicines publishes either on the label of the drug itself, in some drug book, they tell you what a safe dose is. Now, you might have heard of this thing called a PDR, Physician's Desk Reference. Used to be a big old thick book. You can get it online now. Uh, there's all kinds of drug books that tell you all these different drugs, these different, medica these different medications, and tells all kinds of good stuff about them. And it will tell you what a safe dose is. It may say safe dose. It may say typical dose. It may say usual dose. That all means the same thing, okay? So a safe dose is going to be 12 milligrams per kilogram per day. What you're going to do is ignore this for just a moment. We're not going to work with this number yet. We're going to see if that number is safe or not. So the math that we're doing is the same thing you've been doing for the past couple of weeks. We will take, here we go, take this number, 12 milligrams per kilogram per day. And that's the way you need to write it. And what did you do next? If you did this other way correctly, you multiply by the weight in kilograms. Well, I don't know that. I have the patient weighs 52 pounds. So I take my hand to dandy calculator and I say 52. Of course, to convert pounds into kilograms, I divide that by 2.2. And that's 23.6364, blah, 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 blah. Here's the deal. You don't want to round off a number and then use that in your next calculation. So what you don't want to do is say, well, okay, that's uh, 23 or 23.6. No, use the whole thing. Now, I'm just going to write 23.6 just to keep track of it. But the best thing and the simplest and the quickest thing is leave that number in your calculator and use that big, long, exact number for the next calculation. What I'll do is there, therefore, multiply this number times 12. And when we cancel out the kilograms, I'll take that number times 12, and that's 283 point something, 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 something. So that's 283 point something or other. But in what form? Kilograms cancel, that's how many milligrams per day. You need to make sure you keep track every step along the way which words you're dealing with, what units you're dealing with. That's how many milligrams per day that what? That's a safe amount. My patient, now wait, not any patient, a 52 pound patient can safely receive 283.6 milligrams for the whole day. But I don't need to know that. I need to know what's a safe amount per dose. Sometimes the term is per divided dose or in divided doses, meaning each time I give my patient the medicine, how much will the patient get? Not how much will he get, but what's a safe amount to get? Well, that's for the whole day. How many times a day am I going to give this? Well, it says QID. That means, you know this, four times a day. So I now have to divide this by four since that's done four times a day. I, I get, leave that number in here. Don't round this off and then plug it back in. That wastes time, effort. It wastes finger motion. So leave it there. That, that number is already there. Then just say divided by four. Well, now the number is 70.9091. But what is that? But that was, I divided by the number of times per day. So now that's a distant number of milligrams per dose. So each dose, each time the patient gets medicine, that's a safe amount 
that a 52 pound patient can get. Now we ask ourselves, is what the doctor order or the whoever, I'm gonna say doctor, am I, if I say P-A-N-P, the, pr the licensed prescriber, whoever did this, is that order safe? Hmm, the doctor ordered 100 milligrams. What's a safe amount for my patient? Ooh, 70.9 milligrams. Is the order safe? No, it is not. Well, what happens next? What if it isn't safe? So you get, what happened was, the doctor ordered this, you licensed prescriber. It's hard to say licensed prescriber. When I say doctor, you know who I mean. When the person ordered this, you went, I don't know, this looks wrong. You looked either on the drug label, you'll see some of these in the book, in some authoritative drug book, you found out that the manufacturer of that drug said that 12 milligrams per kilogram per day is safe. And you determined that for your patient, that's a safe amount to give per dose. Therefore, the doctor's order, it's way off base. So no, it's not safe. So again, what do you do now? You call the doctor up. Well, I know that's no fun. So you gotta call the doctor, uh, disguise your voice, excuse me doctor, oh, this is George. And you uh, tell him who you are and say, could there have been some, well, you'll, you'll learn in the real world there how to do this, but uh, maybe ask your boss to call the doctor cause uh, you know, you don't wanna embarrass yourself, or embarrass him. But you gotta confirm this. What I'm saying is, you don't give this amount. You don't give, you don't give anything. You give nothing until you confirm with the prescriber what's really supposed to happen. You don't give anything. So, that's the way this works. And we'll do several of these to get the hang of this, but you see now the big difference, sort of big difference between what we've been doing so far and this. I'll say it one more time. Up to now, we've been doing where the order was in the form of the milligrams per kilogram per day or something similar. And you determined how much that ended up being and you gave that amount. Here, we're using the milligram per kilogram per day to determine if the doctor's order is safe or not. If it is safe, you give the patient that amount. If it isn't safe, you don't give it. You confirm with the doctor what is right what to do, and you don't give this, you don't give this, you don't give anything. Because, and I'm being serious here, let's say you gave the patient this. You either didn't check it out, or you did, but you didn't want to call the doctor up, <clears throat> and you gave the patient the wrong amount. You overdosed your patient, and the patient suffered harm, or death, or something bad happened. Whose fault is it? A, the doctor's. B, yours. C, uh, my, it's not my fault, okay? C, don't forget. It's both A and B. It's the doctor's fault and your fault. It's the doctor's fault because he didn't do it, right? It's your fault because you didn't check him out. Now, that's scary. If I, as your teacher, make a mistake, which I do once every three minutes, I just go, oh, and I make fun of myself, and I'm okay. If you make a mistake as a nurse, somebody is seriously harmed and you're gonna be in court or have your license taken away or something bad happens to you. So you must check out these things and see if they're right, if something looks wrong. Well, let's go into more of these. The next several videos, we'll do lots and lots of these exciting things until you finally get the hang of this.